Hello everybody, how's Sting here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Sananju Headbus from from Billion Sparks Craftsmanship. Uh, as soon as I saw this on USA Game Store, I knew I had to just get it. Uh, I have the, uh, as you've seen in my uh, Gunplay Delivery video, on the last one, I have the Headbus for the Unicorn. Uh, the reason why I got that one is because I have the Mega Size Unicorn up and put together um the unboxing is recorded i should get to the review for it but as soon as i got this one and i just knew i had to do an unboxing for it and get it put up uh it's going to be up before uh i get the other videos that i need to do done uh uploaded um so but also it will be a little while uh for me to get this one you know reviewed and put together for you uh, i would love to do like a live stream or something like that but uh, internet sucks, so I can't do that. Uh, well, I haven't tried. I, mean, I could probably try sometime, but, um, you know, sometime in the future with something stupid. Um, you know, the weather's not that bad if I leave out super quick, fast, and hurry. Um, anyway, this is, let's just go ahead and get, like, a panorama of it. This is the uh, front of the box. This is the top of the box with the Neo Xeon. And the, uh, I, I'm assuming that's the Shar Ajimal, uh, logo. Um, because I think when I look up Neo Zeon, they have, like, a regular Zeon symbol. And anyway. And there's the back of it. You see all, you get the, you know, a nice picture of the head bust. Uh, you see that you get some water slides with it, some effect, well, not effect parts, but some, uh, these are uh, metal parts. Um, I really don't know what that green thing is. And it shows you that you can move uh, parts of it. I know it's probably a little bit too much to ask for, but I figure with these kind of things, though, they could at least like maybe put arms on it. Instead of just being near the um, arm covers and whatnot for the shoulders. I think that would be nice with just some arms with it. But anyway... Go ahead and get into the side views of it. Here is the left side of the box. You got a nice picture of the Sananju. And on the right side is another picture of the Sananju. Alright, now I figured I would do like a comparison between other boxes. Now here's uh the headbutt for the unicorn on top, just so you uh, you know, size comparison. Here it is with the camphor box on top. And this is a comparison with a perfect grade kit on uh box. Alright, that's it for the comparison, so let's check out the inside of this thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. Pop a top. Move my little light over. My little light over. Go ahead and pull. Sorry, I'm keeping it to move my lights. Push that mofo back. Look at all that stuff in there, Jesus. Your massive stuff about to just explode on out of there. Manual and your water slides. I kind of, when I got the thing, I kind of uh, got a little results and kind of already opened this. So that, that's me, not them. But anyway, you get your manual and your water slides. Go ahead and count. This is one. Uh, the base for it. Number. Number two, which is the bags of runners. Right, go ahead and start counting. Bag number two. Bag number three, which is all your metal parts. You listen. Jangly, jangly. All your metal parts for your thrusters and your... Uh, yeah, you know, your cable and all that. Bag number four, which is your um, green parts. I don't really know what, what else to say, really. Bag number four, which is your gold. And I like the high grade. It's just like the, um, the RG. You know, you don't have to really worry about stickering this or painting this. What if it's already gold for you and you just put the black over it. Bag number five. 
bag number six. Bag number seven. Oh, some parts have fallen. Bag nine, some of the black parts. Bag number 10, some more parts. Bag number 11, which is your big old uh, display base. Bag 12, all your electrical parts. Bag number 12, which is some yellow parts. Bag 12, I'm sorry, 13, not 12. Bag number 14. Bag number 15. Bag number 17. Bag 18. And then we go ahead and see what this is. Alright, we went ahead and got rid of the big Snanju ba uh, box with this other little Snanju box inside. Go ahead and open it up. Get that top back. We go with some more bags. Uh, look like the uh, shoulder armor. I guess this is all just shoulder armor. Here's some more. Here's another one. It's like the uh, the cord block or what? Not the cord block, but the where the pilot sits at. These spikes. Like some more shoulder armor, like backpack. And I have no idea what this is. And that's it for that box. All right, before we start looking at the runners, let's go ahead and do a recap of how many bags we had. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 bags, two parts not in a bag, looking pretty awesome, and not to forget also reiterating, oops, water slides, in your manual. Let's go ahead and we'll get into the manual. Right after I get all the stuff off my desk. As you can see, they're all organized for head, body, shoulder, base, backpack, uh, wings, and that'd be about it. But these are some pretty nice water slides for a third party. They're almost like Benda. Almost. 
All right, so let's go ahead and start getting into the manual. All right, so here's the manual. Uh, you see all the 094, all that nice stuff, and then also the mobile suit 130 scale MSN dash 06 S head bust or just bust. Uh, got this kanji, which I don't, I, mean, I don't read it, so I don't really know, but anyway, let's go ahead and look and see what you start off with. Of course, now you see off is your pay, uh, parts page, uh, pretty much tells you how many pieces you're supposed to have and things like that. Uh, it shows you your water slides, and it shows you all the intricacies of the lighting. Yeah, hopefully it's <laughs> not as hard as it looked like it's going to be, but I mean, it seems like it would be pretty easy. Uh, it shows you the thruster bells, how I many you're supposed to have, and uh, you know the green and all that nice little stuff. And as you can see, the first thing we start off with is the body. You put all that green uh, inner frame parts in there. Um, then you get to more of the, of course, it's, you know, mainly it's nothing but body, really. But then you get the next part of the body. Uh, some more parts of the body. And see, you can see here, like the real grade, it's, you know, in separate, uh, separate order where you don't have to try to mask it off and paint it or anything like that. And since it's a bigger model, it's going to be, you know, finer than the real grade was. So I haven't uh, built that kit yet. I want to get it, but I, you know it's not a high priority. And then you pretty much start with the base, put the body on the base, and you get your nice little color page for where all your decals go. Then we get back into more of the body. Start with your, then you get you the backpack, um, backpack, more backpack, and all that nice stuff. pretty much just go through all this right quick you know you get all your your sticker and your um parts and stuff like that and it shows you pretty much how to put all together and then we start getting into the head after we do the shoulder shoulder and then it shows you i guess being able to take the head off and all that kind of stuff um a picture of the head bust um some more parts tells you what all these letters on this page are and then the back is like the top Neo Zeon. So go ahead and look at the runners. All right, first runner we're gonna look at is runner A. You can see this for the top of the head. Uh, that's the only part really I can tell you what it's for. I guess it's probably like the sides of the body and you know some other parts like that. And here we go with runner A2, which is uh, some other parts I don't know. Now I would recommend uh, if you're working on this until you get to the parts you need, I would keep them wrapped up in the um, Sell thing that they come in just so you know you don't get scratches and dust and stuff like that on it. But also, with that being said, though, you might want to have to clean these too, uh, you know, just to get the um, residue of the you know saran wrap off of them because it will leave kind of like a you know a filmy type, not a full out film, you know, wherever the parts or whatever the saran wrap is sticking to, it will uh, you know, kind of you know, have that problem with causing like uh, designs or whatnot on it. All right, here we go with runner. B1, uh, you can see it's the side of the head, body, you see the commander antenna, or the V, or uh, the thing on top of the head, I forgot what to call it. And then of course you got some other parts, I like that. You know, I don't really know what, what parts to what, but I, you know, they're on the runner. Here's runner C, and of course you get two of runner C's. Now the way they have them in the bag is, um, Kind of like that. That's how they have them in the bag. So, you know, you, if you really don't pay attention, you might think there's one runner, but it's actually two. Here we go with runner E. You've got your, uh, you know, your green parts for the um, cockpit and the parts for the arms. Runner F, which is for your uh, inside of your bell, thruster bells. And here we go with runner G. Now, I went ahead and left this in the bag for safety reasons. I don't want, you know, to get scratched up or anything like that. So, I figured I'd leave it in the bag. Runner H, which is all black. As you can see, it's for the chest and then the side to where the, uh, you know, the gold is going to go in beneath. Here we go with runner I. This is for the inside of the wings. And you got two of that runner right there. And then here we go with runner I2. The other one was I1. This is I2. 
and you also get two of this runner here. Here's runner J for all your yellow parts. Runner K, which are some more thruster bells and other parts. And you got two of that runner there. Runner L. And you got two of runner L. Runner M, which is almost black, but it's a darker shade of gray than the other grays. And you got two. And you got two of that, this runner here. Here we go with runner N. And you got two of that runner. Now we're getting back into our single runners. This is runner O, as you can say, for the inner frame of the head. Runner P, which is for the. Uh, the power cords and stuff like that and here is runner Q now uh, the rest of the uh, parts that we're gonna see now they are not uh, in you know any kind of number or letter or anything like that they're just parts so I'm gonna go through those right uh, now all right this is the base it comes with and you get these two little parts here and kind of go through right now what I, I'm assuming where it goes these parts probably go you know, along the sides of these right there. And here we go with another part that I'm assuming this is for the cockpit. You just pretty much pull these, uh... See, when I looked at it, I thought there's a way you could pull it apart, but there's not. If you look there, right there in the middle... I'm trying to... You can see it's a Xeon crest, so that would probably be one part you would probably have to paint if you want that to be a different color. And just like with every other kit you always get, here are some poly caps. There's another part, I don't know where it goes, but you can see this part right here in the middle is a piece you cut out and then you, you, know, you have to get rid of the nubs. I don't want a runner, but you know, you probably find out about design wise of where it is and you get two of it right here. Here we go with another red piece and you can see there's a runner right there in the middle, so you would have to clip those out and of course you have two of it as well. Part, you can see there's a runner connected to it, you'd probably have to cut these out, but make sure it says so in the um, uh, instructions before you do though and also you have two of that one here we go with this part and also you have two of that one as well we go with this part here now also like everything else I can't um, you have two of it now uh, these are two parts put in together and I'm, I'm assuming that they would put together they go together for this part of the body right here. We'll go with another part. And you have two of it as well. And for the red parts, this is the last part of red. Uh, to some body part, I don't, like I said, I don't know. I haven't really looked at the manual other than, you know, just a few minutes ago. So it pretty much just ran through it. And of course, you got two of this one as well. Now these are the metal parts. I'm not really going to take them out of the bag. But yeah, I mean you can see you got this long part and you got these right here all for the cables. And this other one you have, um, oh, uh, whatever you got, the strings, whatever you want to call them. And then of course your metal thruster bells with it. And of course now here we go with some other uh, green parts for the kit. And then your LEDs. Now, I'm not really going to take these out of the bag either because I don't want to lose anything. But, I mean, I mean, LEDs are LEDs, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, that is it for the unboxing of the Sinanju Headbust. Uh, hopefully, me running through the runners wasn't too terrible. Uh, you know, I watched a uh, YouTuber that I watched from time to time. Uh, his audio is not the greatest, but I mean, I watched, I'm not going to say his name either, but. Because uh, it seems like I'm kind of attacking him or anything like that, but I'm not. Um, I watched his unboxing of this, and he didn't really say nothing about the parts from what I watched of the video. You know, he just showed, you know, you know him handling the parts and showing them, and that's basically all he did. So I figured I'd do mine, like, you know, the way I normally do it. Hopefully it's not a super long video. If it is, I'm sorry. I don't plan on putting it into two parts, because, I mean, I don't really see the point of it. Just make it one whole video. I mean, if I made it into two parts, it'd be just try to get some views. Now, also, with that being said, uh, I kind of see this as being a good idea. Especially if you're working on both the unicorn and this one. is all the parts for this Nanji, I would suggest keep them in the box with this little box right here. Just so that you don't mix them up with your unicorn parts. 
and that's you know just 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 you know my thought of how I would do it anyway because I sometimes I work on like three or four kits at a time and if you keep all the pieces with the boxes they're easier to keep up with and you won't have a problem with losing you know your pieces or stuff like that or mixing them up so I would suggest all the San Andrew parts that you think you might get mixed up with the uh, head bust of the unicorn I would suggest put them in this box here you know where you know where they're at at all times um but yeah that's it i hope you liked the video uh this is i know this video might have seemed kind of terrible at the ending of it i think the beginning of it was good but the ending of it was kind of probably trying to run through everything so quickly because it's so much to go through but hopefully if you liked the video if you did you know hit that like button like rate subscribe and all that nice stuff and i guess i'll talk to y'all later Hellsting signing out bye got everything wrapped up like a sandwich I uh, forgot one part in the unboxing. You got this part right here also for, uh, I guess, the arms and the base and everything. All right. Bye-bye. There's nothing to fear along the way. There's nothing I could say. Nothing.